So you've got the bacteria, you've got heaps of cells, you've got heaps of oil, and it's party time for those bacteria. So that's basically how a pimple is born. Hi, I'm Terry Vinson, cosmetic chemist, founder and formulator of Synergy Skin and author of Skin Formation. One of the most common areas of concern for all our customers, even adults, but mainly adolescents, is the problem of acne. You start to produce excess oil. There's an oil gland sitting in our follicle and that produces oil into the follicle. So the oil's sitting there, it's sebum. Then you've also got, when you're young, an excess production of new skin cells. So you've got the bacteria, you've got heaps of cells, you've got heaps of oil, and it's party time for those bacteria. So what they do is they feed on the oil, they feed on the dead skin cells, and they produce these inflammatory chemicals, which actually cause that redness and inflammation that's commonly associated with zits. So that's basically how a pimple is born. In terms of treating an acne condition with over-the-counter topical ingredients and cosmeceuticals, I have got a few favourites. There's some very specific ones that work specifically on the oil gland, a lot of botanicals. But in terms of my general favourites, it would be vitamin A, the retinoid family, vitamin B3, niacinamide, your alpha hydroxy acids, which is lactic, malic, mandelic acid, and beta hydroxy salicylic. And so in terms of vitamin A, if you imagine the retinoids are a big umbrella, you've got all types of vitamin A under them. Prescription is isotretinoin, but you've also got your non-prescription forms, which is your retinol, which is one of my favorites, hydroxypinacolone retinoate, HPR, which is, in my opinion, the next best thing to prescription retinoids. The best vitamin A's for acneic skin, in my opinion, over the counter or cosmeceutical is retinol and hydroxypalacanone retinoate. If you have highly sensitive skin, I would recommend an encapsulated retinol, and that has a gentler delivery, that will reduce excess sebum produced by the oil gland. That's how vitamin A works. Niacinamide, oh my gosh, this is my favorite ingredient for everything. It is the multitasker, but it's also great for acne. In fact, 5% niacinamide has been shown to be as effective as topical antibiotics in managing the inflammation associated with acne. So it reduces the inflammation, it also repairs the barrier, and when, when we have acne, our barrier is in a state of disrepair, we've got pustules, papules, blackheads, the barrier is broken, it will help to repair that, it will also help with collagen, it will also help with the pigmentation, and it also helps with ceramide production. Then we get onto our acids. Now, in particular, alpha hydroxys, that's used for so many skin conditions. The alpha hydroxy acids are basically like a glue dissolver and they dissolve the glue between the dead um, epidermal cells or the dead cornea sites. So they slough off and you've got lovely fresh skin underneath. The other thing is beta hydroxy acids are excellent for congested pores and acne is basically oil and dead skin cells clogging the pore. So we, what we need to do is we need to get into that pore gently and kind of pull out all the muck inside. Beta hydroxy acids or salicylic acid is fantastic at that because it loves oil. It just has such an affinity. It's called a lipophilic acid. So it dries into that pore, sucks out the oil, gives a little bottle brush, pulls it out, and voila, you are decongested. So salicylic peels are great, but even if you have a, cell, a mild salicylic acid topical, that's highly recommended for acne. That'll help to clear those blocked pores. So A, B, Beta hydroxy acids, alpha hydroxy acids are my four favourite ingredients for managing acne.